Okay, it's the final segment. I want Travis to be able to finish up. I need to hit this Louisiana cops plan for end of the world scenario. Infowars.com out of the Shreveport Times. We wrote a story about this. This is mainstream media reporting it like it's no big deal. I want to talk to uh, Craig in Afghanistan briefly to see what he has to say. We have a long way to go and a short time to get there. I'll be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central. Infowars.com is the site. Okay, really fast, Travis. Uh, we've seen all the videos of pastors being beaten up 100 miles inside the U.S. in some cases, smashing cameras. They videotape us. They track us, but we're not supposed to protect ourselves. I hope you sue them for what they've done. But it was in the L.A. Times. They mainly target citizens. The, the Border Patrol's told, don't stop the illegals. 800 cities, including Austin, where I live, they're above the law. Go ahead. Well, as I was saying, I was tased, and then they took me into their office, and they said, Oh, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. We'll help you. We'll fix you back up. I ended, I ended up getting uh, sent back to North Carolina. I was never able to get on the New Mexico radio station, and I had to report it where I was, which hardly anyone listens to it where I am right now. Well, where did this happen? And, and we'll check into it. It happened at the New Mexico, uh, I think it was on Highway... I'd have to look it up. Uh, well, I got to jump, Travis. I appreciate your call, but I've seen videos similar to that of it happening to other people. Real fast, and I'm going to hit a final news story or two. Craig in Afghanistan. Are you in the military or a contractor, Craig? I'm a contractor, Alex. Well, how many folks are listening over in Afghanistan? Uh, I bought uh, bought your CD from you. He, he sold you uh, one of your pirated videos that he bought from China. Awesome. So you guys are listening over there. I, I, I try to let some people watch your CD. I, I hand them out. Well, good to have you. What's on your mind? Well, I think the the big issue that I want to think of is that uh, we're fighting against these uh, evil people. They they worship. They go to these secret societies and and they worship these. Uh, the devil, I guess. I don't know. Skull and but, uh, bones, Bohemian Grove. Laws against. Yeah, there used to be laws against that. I think in the 1800s. Is there any laws against uh, being a member? Of well, Congress that's right. And, uh, 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 of, uh, President John Quincy Adams made it illegal, and he had the uh, anti Illuminati party basically, and tried to rot those folks out. But uh, no, it's it's alive and well. And the public doesn't is starting to learn about this, but. Uh, Look, Bohemian Grove, Skull and Bones, it's very wicked. These people are into the occult. They mean business. Yeah, I think that's uh, one of the major things we have to fight against. Uh, I mean, the Bible calls uh, we don't war against flesh and blood, but principalities, and I think we need to concentrate on that somehow. I don't know. You know, we've talked about that. I mean, when we study evil and evil organizations, and this is when I speculate, I really do this, it's like they're being guided by something. These people are idiots. They're like zombies, a lot of them. But but it's just it's it's the mystery of evil. The Bible talks about. They are guided by a dark force. They're they're tied in together. They they work together, and uh, it's amazing. God bless you, Craig in Afghanistan. I'm sorry to all the other callers. We're out of time because I promised to hit some other news here at the end of the radio broadcast. How cool was that, Stephen King? <laughs> There's a bunch of it coming up tomorrow, folks. Stephen King, premiering stuff on this radio show. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? <laughs> and coming up in like a week or two, uh, they've got uh, South by Southwest. I got contacted by a huge household name movie star. And, and uh, it's not the first time this has happened, but this guy probably wants to go public. I'm going to be hooking up with him, probably hear him here in studio. Uh, it's just, And again, why is that important? The public pays attention to movie stars and Stephen King. And uh, we're the mainstream. We're the future. We're saying no to the tyranny. And it's very exciting. Okay, uh, look. It almost does a disservice to just cover this at the end and not give you all the background because it's so much worse than just this article. It's Kurt Nemo. It's uh, prisonplanet.com, infowars.com. Louisiana cops plan for end of the world scenario. Police in Louisiana, Bossier Parish, are training for an end of the world scenario, according to the Shreveport Times. That's a quote. The program is dubbed Operation Exodus, inspired in part from the book of Exodus in the Bible. Coming to America, Egyptian cop beats a protester during demonstration over low wages. That <laughs> goes back to Moses. 
Parish Sheriff Larry Dean told the newspaper that the buck stops with him. The liability stops with Larry Dean. That's a quote. I am the chief law enforcement officer in the parish and it is incumbent upon me to protect all the people in it, the officer said, referring to himself in the third person. Now, this sounds bad at a certain level because we researched it and the feds are telling him to do this, but the feds know the truth. The feds know the sheriff is the supreme law enforcement officer, the elected official who can literally has martial law power. So the feds are getting smart now, we've learned. In a lot of states, they're trying to phase out the sheriff and then give martial law power to these unelected police chiefs. But in areas where they can't do it, they're just going to the sheriff. We need to go get our sheriffs elected to say no to the feds. Sheriff Richard Mack, let's get him back on this week. And others are now doing that. Dean's plan is to protect Bossier Parish, vital resources like food and gasoline. Remember, the feds came in during Katrina and locked all that down, cut the sheriff's department transmission lines. Like food and gasoline, in the event of a catastrophic event such as war or a terror attack, Dean said he had been thinking of the plan since the terrorist attacks of 9-11, reports Drew Pearson. Under Dean's plan, the police will use volunteers supplemented with active public safety personnel that will be dispatched to vital areas of Bossier to protect them from looters and rioters. Dean listed in examples, grocery stores, gas stations, hospitals, and other public meeting places. Now, folks, quietly the feds have been training for eight years for this, and you get the internal documents that we've gotten and published at Infowars.com, and Kurt later in the article does break it all down. I just meant in time-wise, we're running out of time here. And it's all designed for gun owners, conservatives, libertarians. Remember, high and dry rich areas, they came in and took the guns and wouldn't give water and food for four days, even though they had it, to the people at the Superdome. They wanted to set the precedent there. Instead of normal riot equipment, such as shields and batons, the volunteers will be armed with shotguns and have access to 50 caliber machine guns mounted on vehicles dubbed the War Wagon. On February 20th, volunteers were trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques. So this is very scary. They're training to take on the American people. The ATF's illegally confiscating airsoft rubber pellet BB guns. Uh, it just goes on and on. The article details all the martial law preparations for three pages after that. But we are out of time, unfortunately. My wife barely allows me because I'm working so much to be here for two hours on Sunday or we do more. But we'll be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central. Um, I'm waiting for the phony environmentalist fear mongers to say the Chilean earthquake was caused by global warming. The U.N. and Danny Glover already said that about the tragedy in Haiti. But Al Gore, separately, Al Gore, a lightning rod at Apple shareholder meeting, this out of the news.cnet, CNET News, uh, says the majority of people stood up at the shareholder meeting, he's on the board of Apple, and shouted him down as a fraud and a scammer. Meanwhile, the IPCC and the UN have been caught in more fraud, and Al Gore has written an article for the New York Times saying we can't wish away climate change, demonizing everyone who questions all their fraud and says it doesn't exist. This guy's a joke who's already made a billion bucks off phony environmentalism while ignoring serious environmental crises we face like genetic engineering, overfishing, and other issues like that. Great job, crew. Jason Burmes is coming up live for three hours at the InfoWars.com streams. You're not on your local station. God bless you all. Wake up and take on tyranny. Great job, crew.